Okay, so, hi, chat. Do you remember the other night, I want to say it was Monday night, when I was ragging on this game, and somebody in chat, somebody in chat said the following, okay? I actually, I, I didn't see it when I was live. I noticed it in the chat replay. I went to go check out the VOD for something. Orbe, thank you for 14 months. But, and thank you all for, for coming tonight. I should have said that first. Um, but I, you know, I, I think a lot of you might be puzzled right now. Um, someone in chat said, they said, Mike, I feel the exact same way about Outer Wilds, right? They said, I fucking despise that game. I think it's boring dog shit. Everything about it infuriates me. It got hyped so hard and, and to me, and I played it and it turned out to be disappointing dog shit. And then they proceeded to say, this gets better. They proceeded to say, the only reason that I continued playing it and beat it to, to completion and saw credits is so I could clown on people who say that they like it. They said the only the only reason I played it to completion was was so that I would have like so I would be able to more effectively shit on it and and like you know make people who like the game feel wrong and stupid. Is that kind of based? I agree with you. That was based, and that's why I'm going to be playing the Stanley Parable tonight, so people can see with their own eyes, like why it's it blows. Max, thank you for uh, 26 months, ma'am. And Keith Z, thank you for for eight months. No, 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 no. Listen, <laughs> that dude is crying harder than I did at the end of Outer Wilds. Well, the the person. I mean that's valid, you know. I and that, and that they're right. Like, look, if you're gonna fucking fully criticize something, you should um, experience it to the fullest. So I went. I I got scammed. I participated in the scam, and I gave them twenty five dollars from the Stanley pa for the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, which is what this is. Um, and all right, it, let me let me just say. Uh, Zai, thank you for 27 months. Um, I hope you have a good night. Let, let me just say, when I played this game, when I did, it was like last week or it was like two weeks ago. It was kind of recent. Again, I I didn't play it because of the Ultra Deluxe version. It was just a complete, it was like a total, total coincidence. Shrek Kit, hey buddy, thanks for coming to the stream tonight. You gave someone else money to have them give you a game. I, I think that in this instance, the word game is doing a lot of heavy lifting in that sentence. And that's the point I'm trying to make. Trim cheese with seven months. Thank you. Um, yeah, what, what I gain? No, I said game. G-A-M-E, game. It's doing a lot of work. Um, whimsy pop with 13 months. Thank you. Here's what I wanted to say. Here's what I wanted to say. When I played this game, I was in a bad mood. I was kind of distracted. I had a few beers, I think. Um, basically, basically, I'm going to give this game another chance. I am just. I'm not gonna fucking shit on it all night long. I mean, that's not. I'm not gonna do that. All right. I'm. I'm gonna experience it. I'm gonna. You know. We're. We're gonna check it out. All right. The way I would any other game. Focus with uh, eight months. Thank you, bud. You like? Yeah. The LOL. Uh, also, tonto corazón with seven. Uh, sorry, eight months. Thank you, buddy. Um, and Blaze It Taco with five months. Thank you. Uh, happy Cinco de Mayo to you as well. Thank you for choosing to join me here tonight instead of going and getting blackout drunk. Now, I have played the Stanley Parable before, so the answer is going to be yes. Um, please adjust the slider until the compu computer is barely visible. Is that good? You know what? This game can get dark if I remember correctly, so let's let's just... 
you know what? I, I, I like being able to fucking see. Okay? I like being able to see. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna fuck that. Blue Nacho with seven, uh, 17 months. Thank you, bud. Getting blackout drunk while watching. Hey, you could multitask that. Sure. Um... I hear this version is worse because they removed stuff and adding new jokes that are the writers sucking themselves off. Well, that's it, it was always that. Um, Mike, keep in mind it's a comedy game; it's not a philosophical thesis. But, 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 but it is though, or it wants to be. Uh, Harry forty one, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you so much. Um, where'd it go? Um, fuck. All right. Well, well the, thank you for the, 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 the support guys. Um, does the game insist upon itself? Oh, in, in spades, in, in, in spades on Kempt bookworm with eight months. Thank you. Please enter the current time. It's, uh, was 753, seven, uh, 50, uh, three. can you just not, can you not do that, please? Thank you. All right, 7.53 p.m. Accessibility uh, settings can be accessed from the main menu. Cool, okay. No fucking way he's doing it. No, he, he is. He is doing it. Yeah, he's doing it. Let me know how the audio... Can you hear the fucking game? It humbles itself at some points? You're telling me it humbles itself? Break his back and fuck his ass and make him humble. The game puts itself in the camel clutch? Um, How many people don't know anything about this game? I mean, people don't. Re oh, there's a. Oh, there's a couple of. There's a couple of people who don't who don't know. Um. Hey, Pawn Star, did you get your cut from the paycheck game? No, nope, that was an, an absolute catastrophe. Uh, I'll tell you. I, I think I have to wait till the like the end of the month or whatever, to find out. But uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was a clusterfuck. Okay. You guys are in for a real treat tonight this is the story of a man named Stanley Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427 employee number 427's job was simple he sat at his desk in he's got a case of the Mondays and he pushed buttons on the keyboard orders came to him through a monitor at his desk. oh my god me for real he just like me for real to push them. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Does that sound familiar to, to you gamers in the chat? Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly yeah. for this job. And Stanley was happy. He was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. See, I'm just like him, but the but the instructions about what buttons to press don't come from um isolation. Something was very clearly they come from the chat. Shocked, frozen solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk... And they're often very conflicting. An officoid. Officoid? Oh, Alright, well, now we're playing the game! We're playing the game now, cost $30. All right, so yeah, he's uh, an office worker, and he's got a very generic kind of a job. He's told he, they tell him what buttons to press and what order to press them in. I made a joke about how that's the chat. 
Um, someone in chat, they said that the... Um, The, the the back seating is going to be intense for this game. Back seaters are going to be molding. Why? Um, hi, Jeremiah Cross. What's up? A, a feral cat killed a, a dead killed a bird and left it on your car. I'm sorry to to hear that. Um, but that doesn't that mean that the cat likes you? It's a gift. This is Ultra Deluxe, Clark. I figured if I was going to do this, I might as well do the Ultra Deluxe. So I, you know, sprung for, um, you know, the 25 fucking dollars. What endings have you got? I, I got like five of them, I, I think. Uh, I, I mean, I'll just, I don't know. I'll, I'll get them again, I guess. F fucking, the, the game is quiet. Okay. I pumped it up a little bit. Oh, look, he's got an I hate Mondays mug. Oh, of course he does. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So douchey. <laughs> it's like, why? Uh, I hate Mondays. All right. I, I think, you know what? I think some of you will, will like this. I, I think... This this game is, has been very revered. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. And I'm not gonna try to, you know, I'll try not to talk over the dialogue. But but look, you know, you got the narrator telling you that Stanley took the door on his left. But I can do this. I can take the door on the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah. How about that? Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Then, just then, you know, to then... spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. The narrator got, like, a little bit annoyed at me because I didn't, you know, I, did, I didn't go in the door that he wanted me to. Also, I can't go back. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. It's like pissed at me. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Yeah, you know, really worth it. Here's what we're gonna. I'm just gonna sit in this room and, and see like how much we can piss him at off by point, by not leaving. Stan's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's I want to say that this is why everyone left. I want to say thank you to uh, Tiny Paint for the raid. I hope you're having a great night. Thanks so much. Did Mike play the original? Yeah, sat briefly. Waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. See, like it, it's it's calling me out, but it's also like, of course I'm gonna do this. Like, like, like I mean, what, what, do, you, what do you want from me? Like. It's like, oh, called out. What the fuck do you expect? There's nothing else to do in the game. Of course I'm going to just sit here. Like, the game is literally hearing all the dialogue clips. We're going to stay. I'm, I'm staying. I'm, I'm fucking staying. I don't give a fuck. I don't fuck. I don't care. Mike, stop being cynical. I will not. I will not. This is the rest of the stream. So what's up with you guys? Spite stream. <laughs> it's a spite stream. <laughs> it is. I'm getting smarter just by looking. Oh, yeah, this game is for... I think for you to really enjoy the Stanley Parable, you've got to have a high Q of... An IQ of, like, at, at least, like, 150. For you to really get it. Like, for you to really... Yeah, yeah a high Q. Shut the fuck up, chat. Oh, my God. This is for Rick and Morty fans exclusively. Wisbone says, I've been playing bug snacks. You've been snacking? That's awesome. Proud of you. Mike, the game tricked you into paying $30 to sit in a room. I was going to be sitting in a room regardless. Oh, you mean in the game? Yeah. See, that's what you got to. But, but see, that's a meta kind of a, a joke that I made, right? Because 
that's what this game is all about. It's meta, you know. It's so smart and um and, and, and quirky and the really just so it's so good. Just Jan, thank you for uh for three months. Tell my cat to quit humping blankets. Stop it. Stop. Cut it out. Hey, Harris, this game is great. The other walking simulator this dev made sniffs its own farts hard. This, this doesn't sniff its own farts, though? <laughs> Mike, you just paid $30 to sit in a room and stare at a wall. Okay. <laughs> But the game, you know, it's not a it's not a scam, right? It's not. It, it isn't though, because it it you know, it's got jokes, right? It's got jokes. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Do you think it's possible? If I had sat in that room for like another 40 minutes, there would have been more dialogue. Like, has anybody data mined that shit? I won't. The only winning choice is not to play. It's too late for that. Hi, Marcella. Give the game a chance. It's a lovely experience. If you're in the Monty Python mood for it, take your time and let the game's funny wash over you like a hot, steamy, rejuvenated cum bath. Yeah. I, no, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a chance. Don't worry. I, I'm, my inclination is to be cynical about it, but I'm, I'm gonna give it a chance. So he said to go to the left if I wanted to get back to business. But we're gonna tell him to go fuck himself, right? Um. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. You know, it's a meta commentary on video games. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Chat, this is, was meant for you, okay? Cut it out. It was a lie. It's a meta commentary on video games. How so? Because what, you know, what do you do when, you, when you're playing a video game? What do you do? You're just following prompts, right? You're, you're, a, you're a brainless, brain, brainlet. You're a brainlet, right? It's a meta commentary. It's a meta commentary on my stinky penis. All right. So it says, warning, do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, $5,000. Um, penalty for even being aware of the cargo lift's existence, $30. Sleepy Gamer Eclipse, thank you for the gift sub. Hey, Twink Master, what's up, bud? It's a commentary on interpreting stories. Yeah? If you notice, if you press the action button, it makes a keyboard clack sound, putting you in the same shoes as Stanley himself. My mind is fucking blown. Someone said, why don't you interpret my balls? So obviously the game is encouraging you to misbehave and, and, and uh, to disrespect it, I guess. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get on the lift. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story... Whoa. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. I was trying to get to the catwalk. Yeah, Everyone to... thinks you are very powerful. Yeah. Tee hee. And that, okay, so that is one of like the 40 endings, basically. <laughs> Fall joke plus two. <laughs> Uh, 40, okay, it's 42 endings, uh, Bubba Fair said. What's up, Bubba Fair? Good to see you, man. Bubba Fair, you like this game, bud? But, but, dude, like, it's, it's like, like, you're, you're a gamer, bro. Like, this is... Like, this, this is not, you know... 
It's hard to be sweaty in the Stanley parable, right? Like what? Elizarin also says one of my faves. It, 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 but it, but it's so like. All right, so so now you you now you're saying now you're saying you're saying like okay, right? So he 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 did the the fucking germ a bit, and he fell to his death and died, right? Like now what? Well now what? Well now, you do the same fucking thing. The exact same thing. Over again. Daldarin, thank you for the another another five gift subs. Appreciate that, guys. Thank you for all the uh, the subage. Um, I already got to to I I played it before, Bubba Fair. Um, Stormy, Kyla's hey. They said I go to Stanley Parable Land parties every day. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? It's the same. Stanley decided to go to the same. meeting room. It's Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The same, the same thing. Tell you what. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to. The Why don't we try room. to get Stanley knew it perfectly every well. ending? Perhaps in the game. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. That way, we can thoroughly wow. like shit up, yes. shit upon it. This it's it's like that. But eager to get back to business, that person who who said that they played left. Outer Wilds to completion just so they could shit on people who like the game. And if you want to do that for this game, you have to get all forty-two endings. There's a four-hour mini-game ending. What? Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off all Uh, go up the cargo lift and unplug the phone or go left and down the maintenance shaft for some peak endings. All right, well, let, let's let's just uh, I'll I'll the do the phone. Here. I'll I'll do that. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I know I that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. That getting into the there is the an ending because I got that ending. Nothing but you. Like I, this time, like this will work if I do it from this. Oh, you want you want to do it from here? You jump down. Someone you've forgotten about. Yeah, that that. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Wait, what the f wait. What? All right, that Stanley, your chance to redeem yourself. That's new. I don't know what I don't her to let her back into your life. The fuck's She's he talking? Waiting. The fuck's he talking about? No, that's new. That's new. That that that's that's totally new to me. There's there's a woman he has a what? Maxi Sona, thank you for 16 months, ma'am. Smelly Socks says, sorry to tell you this, but you will not be allowed to have an opinion on this game until you get the achievement for not playing it for five years. <laughs> it's such a fucking meme, though. Tom Hanks, thank you for 23 months, ma'am. It's such a fucking meme. I... I Okay, I I'm, I'm I hate to tell you this, but I will be having an opinion on it prior to five years from now. Okay, just just get ready for that. Come, Stanley fucks confirmed. Stanley has sex with like vaginas and stuff. I thought you couldn't go back in this game once it, once a door closed. I thought that was it. All right. Well. I look forward to the 10 year revisit when Mike can finally have an opinion. Right, because they bumped it up to 10 years. Because they're so. They're so quirky. That's. I don't remember this shit. Alright, let me see. Oh, That's right. Her, Stanley. You, need to be the one to you know what? This, no, I, I do remember this. I, I got this ending. If you place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. But, 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 you don't have to pick up the phone. You can come do this, right? Which I haven't done this before. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? 
No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that but, was possible. But Let like it was check. a choice, so it's like it's not it's not even like meta in that no, sense. Like, it's, it's definitely um, here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? This is a of these decisions were supposed to Niosh approved N95 surgical mask. Making meaningful choices. What did you wait a second? <laughs> did I just see? No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? Oh, Stanley, you're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. Oh, and to think yeah. I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And I like no forgetting how to read. Make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. I'm not Allow real then. That person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness. Is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Twink Master is looking for twinks ah, in this game. Welcome back. You may have noticed Rupert this was the twink. has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Misty, thank you for the uh, for the gift subs. Uh, it was just I don't know. He he. St <laughs> People were like, Mike, what are you doing? We were saying that the, the game huffs its own farts, so I was I was I was huffing my own farts. But don't worry, that was a stunt fart. That wasn't a real it was like a stage fart. It wasn't a real fart, so I didn't actually huff any farts. No no farts were harmed in the production of this stream. Okay. Yeah, no farts were, were harmed. It wasn't a real um It was like a squib, but for a, a, a fart. It was like a, like a short squib. You know, like when the the things that they use in movies when like somebody gets shot. Beave Nation with uh thirty seven months of support. Thank you, ma'am. Hey Eddie, the dooming today is done hands free by the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, there's a little bit of um a little bit of fart huffing. There, there's tractors in here now because it's so random. Lol, so random. There's also a, a railing in the in the ceiling. So they want me to do something different. He said. And by the way, did anybody? And I I know I talked over some of that dialogue, some of it, especially during the 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 fart huffing segment. But like, did any of that like like make sense? Like, if I had. If I had fucking actually paid attention to that, would, would that be coherent at all? 
Because, because I don't. Would, would it? Would it have? We know your choices are meaningful. We can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine oh, there's a gate now. Okay. dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Yes, and it was funny. All right. Well, it was so Bubba Fair says that it was somewhat, it was intentionally not fully. It, in, intentionally was was just the the rambling the incoherent ramblings of 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 a fucking madman who is tripping balls on his own farts and by the way this game is from 2013 it just recently got a bit i i guess a dlc or an expansion you, 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 I, don't, I don't know what you would call this a, a rehash One joke in the PSA from the original game was altered. Originally, Rupert chose between lighting a cigarette for an, or an orphan or setting an orphan on fire. I'm going to be honest with you. The, the idea that he would, you know, okay, so his choice would be between a machine that created free food for the global population forever or the other choice was slowly and painstakingly forgetting how to read. I, 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 did, I did find that funny, to be honest. Like, it's forgetting how to read like that like that that's his choice right the economy ruined monopool said oh because of the free food i think it's fucked anyway how i i mean like <laughs> almost there you'll take the door on the left back to the correct ending the story will have resolution once again and you'll be home free in the real world all right mike did you forget did you know that forgetting how to read now is a remember, symptom of havana syndrome behave exactly as stanley would that means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first i'm quite sure you'll be up to the task <laughs> fuck Just you narrator and you'll be fine all right <clears throat> when stanley came to a set of two open doors he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, <laughs> okay. hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. No, fuck you. Oh, that's kind of uh, that's kind of fun. I had a feeling Mike would hate this game. Why? Because I said I did. Be I, I mean, I, I spent an hour shitting on it the other night. Um. Yeah, the, the, okay, so the narrative uh, deconstruction is causing the world to deform and, 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 and get fucked up, which is kind of fun, I guess. Mike finds this game shallow and pedantic. It, it, it Guys, you, you gotta, even if you like this game, you have to admit it's fucking pedantic. Come on. Like, please. I guess I can't go in there and... It insists upon itself. <laughs> Listen, unironically, though. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it, it's worthless now. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase it. Yo, this much. was Undertale before Undertale. Really it's impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Meta. So meta. Oh, wait, it didn't work? Oh, I'm here. I'm still here. This? Here in this pile of rubbish. 
This is not one of the new endings, right? This was an OG ending? so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? Yeah, you I just did. Had to see? Yeah. Didn't I impress upon you how important this, it was? This is Sans like Undertale Stanley. dialogue, dude. He actually knows how I'm, I'm serious. To. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Or flowy. I mean, yeah, I get, you oh. know. My story... If you just got Mike isn't door, wrong. He's not. It, there was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and no medial with uh, eight months. It Thank you. So perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make. Is this going to end like that? Exactly as Stanley would. Oh. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley you think you're going to steal from us and walk doors, away? He entered the door they stole from left. me and walked away. It, it, they have $30. <laughs> no! Why did you do that? It's going to be the Hurry same back. shit. Oh, it didn't let... Thank you. Is behave exactly Thank you, Stanley would. Parable. That Thank you. Choosing responsibly and always you're acting like this game shat in I'm your cereal. Sure up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. All right. It was $25. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I have to do it again, of course. Of course I have no. to do it again. Why Come on. Do that? Quickly, hurry back. Keep doing it. Fuck exactly his story. Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll See, be like, able to it, it, What sucks is like the best way to disrespect this game All right. <clears throat> is to play it exactly the way it wants you to play it. <laughs> like it just... <laughs> like you can't win. The only winning move is to not play this game. No! Seriously. Why did you do that? Quickly. Like you can't... Like you're not, you're not in on it. You're not in on it, you know? Exactly like, that means choosing responsibility. My brother in Christ, you gave them the, the goddamn first. money. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be I fine. can do this all day, right. Stanley Parable. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. All right, we got it. Uh, Just behave exactly as no. Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. No, don't give in. No. When Stanley came. Mike, you're touching on the whole point. Okay, let, let's 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 circle back to that later after we do some other uh, some other endings and stuff. Can you be more specific about what you mean by, by that when you say I'm touching on the whole point? This narrator is a no-life nerd. Um, okay, am I winning if I pirate it? Don't pirate this game. It's, it's, that's, it's, it's, come on. It's fucking, it's, it's a tiny studio. It's, it's, don't do that shit. It ain't fucking Disney, dude. Set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Mike, the point is come. I don't think the point is come. But just a hunch. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. To how to solve a dispute with a coworker. Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passive aggressively on other coworkers. Resent coworkers for not supporting you more. Using slides to assure employees everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue gra graphic in the header. Throw some bevel on all text. This will ensure a calm and productive work environment. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. Mantarok with uh, 15 months. Thank you, buddy. Penile sexual excitement excretion. Come. Number of slides on this slide. Charts, slides, charts, and slides. Rate at which charts on the same slide depict the same information. I don't even think rate of increase in graphs per slide. Please, no more charts. I'm begging you, stop. The boss appreciation minute. 
On your boss appreciation worksheet, circle the top 20 things you love most about your boss. Fill it out in triplicate. Return to your boss appreciation specialist. Solving interpersonal conflict. If you ever find yourself in a conflict with another diligent employee, like your, you or yourself, more inclined toward conflict, unless you're the kind of person who initiates conflict, why do we hire you? Remember, it takes two people. Okay. What are your dreams for the future? Nature, transcend, lunch, mitosis, less air, metamorphosis, clear skin, a boat. Tips for not getting fired. Talk less, do unbelievably amazing work with all the time, every day, with no expectation of promotion or recognition, and don't get fired. It, you know, it, it's 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 uh, it's it's funny. Like I'm not gonna say that. So this is funny. It's funny. It's got a good sense of humor. Um, I want to say thank you to Morcus Borcus and Cozyism for their resubs. Um, and Cage Light says I don't I don't think I've ever seen someone get this game less than Mike. He's taking it so seriously. I just cause cause it's like it just it, it mm, I don't know some about it man it's just. It insists. Get a clue! And then there's this whole fucking thing with the fucking broom closet. I'm not allowed to go in the broom closet this time, I guess. For some reason, I'm not allowed. It's too hardcore for Mike. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. <laughs> Mike hates this game and doesn't know why. It's because they're huffing their own Jenkum fumes. Walk downstairs. It was, uh... Mike, you don't have to like it. You don't need to justify your dislike of it either. I, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I, I mean, like, I feel like I do. If I'm going to say, you know, I don't like it, I have to illustrate why I don't like it. And so far, all I've said is it huffs its own farts, which, aside from being pretty clever, mental, you know, clever, funny, mental imagery and also really upsetting mental imagery at the same time but also funny it doesn't really explain uh, it, it's not a verbose critique uh, it's not exactly a you know a, a robust defense of my position about why i don't like this game but maybe we'll get there i don't, I don't know stepping inside his manager's office stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last Didn't week. Didn't they make Night this? Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. This room was completely different. Speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He Sp drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Come! I want to say thank you to Spider Fingers for uh, seven months uh, of support. Um, yeah, it, it, it just, you know, it, the, oh, that, dude, that, that is the come room, unironically. Check that out. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. I am not going to allow this game to make me look stupid by saying that out loud right now. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. No, I'm not gonna let. I'm not gonna let this game make me look dumb. I'm not gonna say it. No, it won't okay, work. Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted Shut over Shut up. There. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... Call me a coward. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he <gasps> entered the door on his left. Holy shit, it's Stanley! What? Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything 
okay. It doesn't mean anything. I, I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Yep. Hold on. I want to, and, and, we're, and, you, and you, you, you come back here. I, I want to see what Elizarin is saying. It was essentially a piece to go against games and developers that were extremely hard ass for their stories and having their games changed or misconstrued by the community around it and all that. There are also many more things that the game explores, but that is one of the main overarching things. Essentially, they want to make a point that it's fine to make light of a story and not just make something that's about a character that's the ultimate power fantasy and all that. All right. Yay. <laughs> okay. Yay. Let's get some more endings. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Now that you read it out loud, it's a little strange. I mean, look, I don't, th I don't think I'm, I'm ever gonna get this game. But like, maybe that's okay. Maybe I don't, I don't need to get everything, you know. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Dude, what's that fucking? Hold on. I don't know, like, what the character's name is. But there's, like, fucking... I don't know, there's, like, this Star Wars character. I, I can't find... It. Fucking... This fucking guy. Remember, remember this. Remember this. Remember this fucking guy, right? But like this pose is just hooked up to his own asshole, right? He's sitting in front of a computer developing the Stanley Parable, right? In 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 this image, like he's like he's one of the head devs on this on this game. Mike, that's glup shit -o. That that's, <laughs> that's The hose goes around, goes back up into his own ass. And it, it's like a fucking feedback loop, you know? It's like a... Glup shit <laughs> That's glup shit -o. Glup Shido, fucking Jenkum merchant. J fucking intergalactic Jenkum smuggler. Known across the stars for for his infamy. Um. Alright, so. What do you want to do this time? You want to listen to the narrator this time? Chat, what do you want to do? 
Like just do everything the narrator says exactly like ex from the beginning exactly what he wants me to do. Mike, I want you to play Isaac. We're just going to do exactly what, what he wants this time because that's how y you get to see all the content. You have to do exactly Yet what he wants. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Yeah, I knew there was a way to get in here. All right, we're not, we're not going to do that yet, though. That that's a thing, right? That's a whole thing. Coming that room closet. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. See, I could also go downstairs. Watch the PowerPoint. We did before. Have you followed the orders before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th there's actually one of the endings that's like really f fucking dark. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. What, like, like cookie crisp? Is it? That... Doesn't even make fucking sense. What are you talking about? Eating money. All right, let me fix this. Microplastics in the morning, microplastics in the evening, microplastics for breakfast, microplastic crisp. He shits money. All right. See, this is the room I remember. Stanley I've been in here. I wasn't in the Stanley other room. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief. It's a commentary on video games. Stick. Was being held Go ahead. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded mm. the terrible truth that his boss oh had been God. keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. This is not... What happened? All right, no, 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 this, this did happen. It's just, I don't think the room went dark like that the last time I played this game. Wait, Mike's actually playing this? Yeah, I did. I I did. Um, I'm not going to shit on this game all night. Never Trust the Cat is the one who said that they beat Outer Wilds in order to fucking shit on it more effectively. Do you remember saying that the other night? Well, that you inspired me to stream this. You. You're the reason I'm streaming this game. That was you. Um, the devs messed with Jerma. Yo, what do you mean the devs messed with Jerma? They did like what Ed, Mc <laughs> what Ed McMillan does to me and Isaac. Like they went into the game and like fucked with them. Spoilers? Is it is it spoilers to tell me what, what happened? Alright, then don't. They put his picture on the website. What? It's spoilers. Alright, then don't then don't tell me. I'll I'll I'll, I'll figure it out later. Alright. Don't you yeah, don't don't spoil anything for me, I guess. Don't spoil this. Okay, alright, alright. Then people are saying please don't spoil this, then don't don't spoil it. We'll give you a clip once you get to it. All right, all right, all right. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Go back up the elevator? Maybe, okay, is it maybe the reason why uh, I don't like this game is because it makes me feel stupid. Never mind. 
Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Because I don't understand what it's trying to say and it frustrates me, right? knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office. Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. Like a fucking, like, Neanderthal who's, like, frustrated by, by, like, fire. Like, he doesn't know how to control fire and it makes him angry and he, like, tries to punch it and, like, burns himself. You know? Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. Elizarin told you exactly what it's trying to say. Yeah, but it, it made it made it make even less sense. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Yeah, I'm not a Rick and Morty watcher. O okay. 69, uh, 69, nine, funny, 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 funny number, funny, four to 420, funny, Fun, funny, 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 type eight a bunch of times, all right. Chat, you're just becoming the narrator. You're just the narrator now. I'm not going to let you be the narrator. Fuck you, too. Fuck him and fuck you. No, I'm not doing that. No. Fuck off. Nobody controls me. Going back down this elevator. Fuck all of you. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? He gets it. Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? Mr. Boob, thank you for seven months of support. Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? Mike, wait, what we technically controlled you by making you do the opposite of what we said. This is piss. The suspense is killing me. That's just piss. That's piss. This is a stream for nerds. It is. <laughs> it's like. Uh. Oh my god. It's the boss's office. Man, there should have been a dinosaur in here. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Could Give put me a, a dinosaur time out here, here for a minute while I process this. Oh. You know, the fun of this game is probably finding all these endings on your own and not having a chat tell you how to get all of them, but I'm cool with okay, that. Okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! No! I need more time to process. Yeah, right. But at the same time, like, I'm pretty dense, so I might not... It might not occur to me to do, like, most of the, of the things that... You have to do to get, to get the endings. Like, I'm pretty... I'm pretty brain dead, so... Go up and down again. Yeah. All right. I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. I, I kind of really want to see what happens if I do this. You win, chat. Boob.
Eight. Eight. Now this, this is gaming. Eight moments. Gonna get it eight. Get what eight? This closey. Um, a lot of the, hey Chili, a lot of the shit you need to do to get the endings would necessitate following a guide. Making you feel stupid is intentional. Which is why the hate is justified. Eh. I, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, um, like to feel stupid. Which is a shame, because it happens a lot. I just I wanted to do something before I forgot. Don't worry, Mike. Chat is here to make you feel stupid. You people had to follow guides. Pig wrestler is is like disgusted at all of you, despite being named pig wrestler and not getting to do that because they wrestle pigs. If you're playing to 100% the game, then it's going to shit on you for it. You know what other game shits on you for, for doing that? Undertale. But but Undertale but Undertale like wasn't douchey about it, you know? Like Undertale just like I don't know. Like I mean sorry, okay, that's a matter of opinion. And so is this. Gato Explosivo, thank you for uh 21 months support. Misty Marcella says, Don't worry about getting all the endings, enjoy the ride. Well, again, somebody in chat, they said that for one of the endings, you have to play a mini game for four hours, apparently, which I don't, I don't think I'm going to do. D did I hear the funny, the funny eight? Like, can I stop doing this now, chat? Or is it... Simply Seamus, thank you for uh, 16 months, buddy. Commit CBT to earn a secret achievement in the game. <laughs> oh! Hey, Mountain Dew, I know about the five-year achievement. Actually, they made it. They made it 10 years in the recent update to the game. It is now 10 years. You notice how I put that fucking brightness slider all the way to the right, and you still can't see shit. By the way, can I point that out? Of course. Going back down in the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? The I mean, brightness sure slider doesn't do anything. Understand that 30 seconds ago, oh, it's a meme. It's a meme? The brightness the slider is a meme? I had no yeah. Frame of reference to even <laughs> anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling. That's so funny. That it's repetitive. a little funny. It's a little funny. All of the settings are a joke. They made a tweet, the developers made a tweet the other day where they were talking about all the accessibility options for this game. Whereas like for people who were like one-handed and for people who were colorblind and stuff, was that all jokes to like, I don't know, make fun of disabled people? Okay, no, okay, so, th so those exist. Why would they do that? Because you're, you're telling me the brightness slider is a fucking meme. Like, what else is a meme at that point? Mm. You know what? I just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. For the lulls. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. Fuck. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. This is the end. They, they're gonna, we're going to see credits in a the second. The agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess. That's the real thrill. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and slow? 
Remember, Mike, all there games are bad. Isn't this so <laughs> much more exciting? You know, Stanley, it seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. I've they been saying that for years. It's because it's true. Right in their faces from the very moment that things get Yes! Started. Yes! Where's the tension? Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story? The character- That's why I want my streams to feel like you're doing a line of cocaine or a fucking Sonic the Hedgehog's, Hedgehog's erect dick while you're snowboarding down a mountain at fucking 90 miles per hour. I've been saying that forever. He gets it, but he doesn't get it. Bored Lizzie, thank you for the, uh, the gift subs. Characters. Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? Fuck storytelling. Show me pretty colors and loud noises and come. That's what, in my experience, that is what audiences want. They want come. They don't want f f fart huffing, uh, fucking posturing and pontificating and, 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 and fucking, you know, in, insisting upon be, being pedantic. Do I have to think? And to or whatever the fuck. And then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. What you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. And it's really all because of you. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. I want to be We're pandered to. Such unimaginative drivel all the time, and we all know it. Which is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. That's why people like you so much, Stanley. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, you know. This game isn't gay enough for Mike's audience. Somebody said. All right, Coley Cow says, do you understand the video game concept, the illusion of choice? Because that's what the Stanley Parable makes fun of. What, they, it's making fun of just the, the concept of the illusion of choice? I, I see, th th this dialogue right here makes that pretty hard to um, misunderstand, I think. People look up to you, which is why, though I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference for you so that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye. Wisp said, chat, you can say that Stanley is bisexual and no one can stop you. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Stanley is a bisexual king, icon king. But I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. The Stanley parable? It's a parable about how much he equally loves vagina and penis. Oh good, we're here. Okay, the room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. Oh. Oh my god, that's- oh. Oh, that's me. All eyes on Stanley. Look how bisexual. Look how obviously bisexual he is. Okay. World's healthiest human being. All tricks revealed. <laughs> is it, this is this exact thing that Joel got really, really pissed off at once. And he was mad about fucking stock images of women laughing at salads. Do you remember, remember that? <laughs> he, he went on like a fucking rant about it. Remember that? How we did it, the pyramids. You didn't, you didn't do that. What the fuck? Uh, live, the guy who went to Mars. The fuck? When's the 3D printing going? Now. <laughs> An evening with world peace, baby. World peace, baby. He, he, that baby is full of hate, and that's so obvious to see. He's three D printing right now. He's the diaper chief. <laughs> he's the, <laughs> he's the diaper ah, chief. Yes, 
Here it is, just through this door. I don't, I don't trust him. The Stanley Parables Stanley, tonight live on stage. The man, the process, the myth, the legend, the parable. Stanley, the, the Stanley parable tonight live on stage. And there's like a crystal ball over there. Okay. Open this fucking door. Uh, a Q&A with world's first sentient machine. That's a fucking John Deere jacker offer. Doing great. A conversation with Alexander the Great. All right, are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Stanley. The, the fucking condescension that drips from every fucking word that comes out of his okay. mouth. It looks like they're ready for you. It is unbearable. Get to stage, okay. Welcome, Stanley. Stanley Ryder, almonds, chair, gum, table, nut bar. Yo, what's Stanley doing? Chat, what's he doing? He's, do he's doing gum. Four two seven. Oh, that's the my office number, right? A little golf, uh, golf practice thing. Break a leg, champ. Your boss. Uh, okay, story. Stanley, m me, dad. Age six. Thanks for showing me that cool skateboard trick in the parking lot. You are too cool. Good luck on stage. Rock on. Okay. Uh, so wait, I wouldn't have got this ending if I didn't go up and down the elevator like 16 times. Stanley, my true love. I, I, I can't fucking read that. Congratulations, Stanley. Remember where you came from. You were co-workers. I came from that mountain? Okay. Up again, down again. Like, as in the elevator that I went? All right, I listen. That's pretty funny. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty funny. Oh, fuck, it's real. Oh, my God, it's real. Dude, I'm coming out like John Cena. Holy shit. Down, then up. Down, then up. So I'm not. Oh, fuck off! Fuck right off! Come on, man. <laughs> what the fuck is that? He died? What happened, even? Like, is it. Am I gonna get any closure from that? Like, what? All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had Yo, look at this mug. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Look at that mug. Who farted? Mug moment. Yo, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe my opinion on this game is changing. I don't know, because that, that, was, that was... I found that amusing. I don't know. Mike farted and huffed it. Maybe I'm fucking... Maybe I'm huffing the farts. New content. Yo, maybe I'm getting high on my own supply. New new content? Oh, new content? What does that mean? New content. Yo, is this the DLC stuff that just, just they just released? New content. Oh man! Oh boy! New content. I'm such a fucking tool. I'm such a fucking tool, who loves fuck, fucking content. New content. Oh my god! Content. Poggers. Pog champ. 
ignore for now it has spoilers i'm already in here dude hello and thank you for playing the stanley parable ultra deluxe i'm already in here As you already... know the stanley parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers after receiving critical and commercial success it was expanded upon in 2022 look at the, the stanley like... parable ultra the deluxe, animation and the shit. of the game for consoles and home computers Mike, stop playing the game. You'll be spoiled. Are, are you hearing this, like, white noise that I'm hearing? What is that? This game it fucks with you so bad, I can't stand it. Alright, they don't want me to get spoiled. They're saying don't do that because there's spoilers and shit. So I'm gonna start over. Alright, so don't go in the new content door. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Mike, it was fine. Mike, it was a joke. They were joking. Chat, you narrated me? It was a joke. Mike, that was an obvious one. Mike, they were joking. You lost your route. Dance, puppet, dance. Mike, you got narrated. They said don't play the game, it will spoil you. No, fucking Jumpy Bob, who's ne who never memes, added me like three times and said don't do this. You'll, they said stop playing the game, you'll get spoiled. Okay? It's a fuck like ten times. He said it once. Moderators, how many times did he say that? We have evidence. We have proof. Pull it up. Pull, pull, pull up. Pull up the, the records. Pull up the evidence. Pull it up. Twitch court. Twitch court. Okay. So go. So go in there. New content? What does Mike, mean? no! New content. It's a trap! Jesus fucking Christ. Twitch plays Jabroni Mike. There's no such thing as Hello, free will. And thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I've accepted that years ago. It's time for you to accept that trap. On home computers. There's no such thing as free will. After Get over it. Critical and commercial success. It was expanded upon in 2022. Game with the Factory. Parable, Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please. Step inside. I like how it got injected. New adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. It's going to be a meme and it's going to be like the same shit. All right. It's going to be the same okay, shit. So far, it's an elevator. Nothing special. It's going to be literally I'm nothing. Sure it's just the and they're going to be like, haha, you gave us $30. Get fucked, nerd. Rising adventure. It's another room with computers in it. Get fucked, nerd. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Welcome to the fart Should room. We be moving somewhere or, uh, uh, it's a meme, elevator. and we're just going to sit right, in this fine. elevator for the Long next ten last, minutes and then look at credits. The new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if the- Shallow and pedantic. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. 
it's it's just like it's so sarcastic, right? All right, all right. Let's see. It's the jump, the jump circle. circle. Holy shit! He can jump. I'm like mad. At, I don't know. I'm like I'm like I'm just I'm just pissed. Like I'm just pissed off at, at this at this game. I, I'm just I'm I'm so. And I'm gonna then I'm gonna do it. That's the part that pisses me off the most. I'm gonna do it too. I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm gonna fucking do it. On top of everything, I'm gonna do it. Someone says that that's how they fucking get you. <laughs> How they get you? <laughs> it's how they get you. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to waste them. I only have seven left. I don't want to waste them. Is, is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? I, I, I can't just not. Hold on. This is just a shit post. Uh, it's it squandered. This is a fucking shit post. Goodness, another elevator, Stanley. I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. My brother in Christ, you made the game. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Thank you for enjoying the new content. It's, 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 it's so fucking like on brand and 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 predictable and and. Gotta be kidding me! You see, Stanley, this is what happens when greedy video game developers, with no respect for their fan base, rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And no, there's more. I know there's more. Craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says. Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's the, he, he's like cloud guy harassing Sean Murray about the fucking No Man's Sky clouds. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game, and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks, just you and me having a great time together like always. Oh. What do you say, friend? Remember when... Oh, 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 hang out. I, I just... Re remember when Cowboy Bebop Netflix aired and it was bad and then everybody was like no you don't understand no 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 no, no, no. it was ironic right no it knew it was supposed to be no it was supposed to be bad right you know it's it's like yeah, hmm they, I'm not bringing that up for any reason in in particular I I'm not that, that, that was just an unrelated thought that I had that has nothing to do with anything else that we're looking at right now, okay?
That is on related. Re really? No, I mean it. No. <laughs> Oh. Come over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. Little, uh, John McClane action? You know what? Nah, fuck you. I'm going this way. Yeah, that's what this game is all about, right? The illusion of, of choice, whatever. Like, oh, I, I can't read that. Okay. Oh, you don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, I don't know, it's, co it's cool? Don't look anyway, so who cares? Is it, it's, 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 it's cool? I mean, he, you didn't say it was cool. Hey, Zimizaru. Mike, my girlfriend has a theory that you play and consume content we like just to shit on it. And I'm starting to believe her. Dude. No. What? Why would I do that? Why? Okay, okay. Why would I do that? Oh, never mind. You're not a dork. No, I am a dork. No, I'm, no, I'm not. For the content. Oh my god, saucy! Saucy vent! Coffee nut. Death. Mike vented saucy, saucy, sus, 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 sus. Remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out. That's still a meme, huh? Thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here, where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. It's fucking Elden Ring, dude. What the fuck is this? Oh, uh, okay, it's like a cathedral? Whoa. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. It's meta, <laughs> It's you the see, Mind Stanley, Palace. Doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? No. I remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? No. Back then, video games had integrity. <laughs> back okay. then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. The Stanley Parable on Steam, right? 2013, when the Stanley Parable was released. The Stanley Parable Collector's Edition. Th this, this, they, this didn't exist. Did this exist? Back when video games had integrity. 2013. 20 years ago, wide people. Yeah. It, it actually had a physical release and it looked like this. World class. Pretty sure it did. Get the fuck out of here. No, it didn't. Stop it. Audience Award Stanley Parable 2014 Independent Games Festival. Right. This is what. This is why. This, this is what justifies all the fart huffing right here. Stanley Parable. The British Academy of Film and Television Arts presented to... And they, they just put a, a piece of tape on it. <laughs> that says Stanley Parable. Okay. Our first kiss, my first car. The release of the Stanley... <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. The original remake. What does that fucking mean?
Linguists identify 15,000-year-old ultra-conserved words, the Washington Post. Researchers identified two dozen words whose sound and meaning have survived the past 15,000 years. The trophy was for The Last of Us. It's The Last of Us BAFTA. The 2013 release was a remake, right? Because it was a it was a, a source smart, right? 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, six components of a great corporate culture. Uh, oh, 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 okay, that's nothing. Good times, All right? Okay. Just more recycled, rehashed, fucking images. All right, but you, lo you love to see it. Mike, this game was related to a tax fraud scheme in Russia. Smile because it happened. The Stanley Parable, a trip down memory lane. There's a CD, there's, there's the, their first dollar they made, right? Uh, a Stanley Parable demonstration, okay. Unachievable. It is impossible to get this achievement. So, does this exist? Go outside. I know that exists. Don't play for five years. If you hack the game, you can get it. See, here's what sucked about this achievement. I would have got it if it wasn't for the fact that you actually have to play the game first. Like, you have to launch it and then not play it for five years. Because I've owned the game for at least five fucking years. So technically, I, sh I should have that. British Academy Award for the Stanley Parable. Alright, so wait, did they really get these awards? Or it's a, it's a meme because it's all Last of Us awards? New video game releasing today. Creators surprisingly down to earth. <laughs> that's that's the funniest thing I've seen yet. Rutgers goes from scandal to a new crisis. Yeah. All right. The game got nominated, but The Last of Us won. Well, hold up. This game is from the UK chat. The voiceover didn't tip you off? Because an American can't hire a British person to do a narration? I don't understand. The game is from is is from the UK. What what, what okay, so what 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 have I made abundantly clear about British people making video games? Yeah, 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 yeah. That you hate their humor? I do not hate, no, that, that is extremely false. <laughs> that I do not hate their humor. What I'm saying is historically, when they make video games, they're bad. And that they shouldn't be allowed to do it. And once again... I'm proven right. Okay? Now, okay, disclaimer. I don't really mean that. And I'm just saying it because British people are like one of the last, like, like people that, like, you know, I, I could safely make fun of. So just let me take advantage of that for a little while before I can't anymore. Thank you. Stanley Parable deals tough choices. What's this? In loving memory, little Stanley. What? It's a hamster? It's a little fella. Dude, fucking Midsommar? Yo, is a bear in there? <laughs> 
And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Yeah, but they were being sarcastic. Every game ever created. That's how if grand they said that. All encompassing the original Stanley Parable. They didn't mean it. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Why is it so wet in here? What ha what, what happened? Look at that. Mike is getting absolutely fucked by this game. This game is having an, a, a severe emotional fucking impact on me, yes. Okay, so... James Stephanie Sterling. What the, what the, what's, what, J Jim, Jim, okay. To be clear, they did say that ironically. Don't read any reviews except this one. How do you review a game like the Stanley Parable? They gave the game a 10 out of 10. Is this is this is this that review? But what the fuck what web this this destructoid. So they used to write for destructoid? Completely ironic. Ew, someone slugged all over this room. Okay, I didn't know this. How do you review a game like the Stanley Parable? To describe any one part of it is to risk its ruination. To detail what it has to say about game design, the illusion of choice, and the psychology of the gamer is to tell you too much. Comparisons, too, are going to be woefully inadequate. Perhaps its closest cousin would be Dear Esther, but where Dear Esther wastes the form of interactive entertainment. Stanley Parable uses and then subverts it. It is a walking simulator where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art. Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Even so, holding the game to the standards of any other title is simply not going to be correct. They're just in on the joke. Mike, if you stay in this game too long, your penis if you stay in this room too long, your penis will not remain dry. Radio Rosewood head hey, this game should not earn your time so easily. Why are you letting something like this bother you? Don't fret aimlessly. Love you, man. Well, I'm not fretting. I'm I'm feeling a lot of different emotions right now. Mike taking the sarcasm seriously. <sighs> yes, I'm stun locked. I am. St I'm stun locked. I'm stun locked right now. I'm stun locked. Because everything inevitably gets to a point where you're in on the joke, okay? And it's like, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And, you know, maybe it achieves what it aims to achieve in a way. And great, okay, you've achieved something. But at the same time, it's, 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 it's a hollow, you know, it's a hollow victory. You know what I'm saying? Like... Like at what point does the wink, wink, nudge, nudge thing just kind of 
it, it, at, at what point is it not, no longer able to support its own weight? You know? Mike, go to the next room before it becomes a 40-minute rant. Okay. How do you review what has become known as the Stanley Parable HD, the full scale reimagining of one of the most intriguing mods available online how do you discuss it analyze and recommend it it's quite simple you don't 10 out of 10 flawless victory main memory zone maintenance all right i'm not allowed in there Bro, that's Minecraft. <laughs> What's Minecraft doing there? <laughs> Why is there a Minecraft screenshot in here? The tasteful nostalgic. It was good. That's Portal. That's Portal. Mind control for okay. I, I've I've been in there. I I saw that. That is one of the endings of the OG game. The Stanley Parable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The top ten memories from the Stanley Parable. I remember. Okay. Buttons. Okay. Person of the year. There's a little um. Amiibos that you could try fitting up your ass if you're feeling limber. Dude, is it did, did this like Sim City or something? What 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 is this? The original remake. Somebody in chat said Stanley Parable, more like the Stanley Terrible. <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. It's happening, baby. It's happening. 10-year-old <laughs> this. Sometimes that's all you need, man. Sometimes that's all you need. Mm -hmm. right. Some merch. Some Stanley Parable merch. You can have a Stanley Parable tie. Um, mm, Torgo Master, thank you for the gift sub, buddy. Right, cool, cool, cool. Um, nice comfy rug. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone, to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. I get what it's going for. I do. I do. I get it. I fucking get it. I get it! I get it! God damn it. Radio Rosewater, thank you for the resub. Also, Roused Hour with 55 months. Yeah, I fucking get it. Yeah. People play games because of what they can do inside them. And your game is very good at letting them know they can't do anything. Literally anything. <laughs> but let's give it a 9 out of 10! Do you really get it? Yes, I really get it. I get, I get it. I get it. I get it. Alright. Meta commentary on consumerism that you could... Put up your ass, alright? This was an actual email that the devs that the devs got. Oh, there's a bunch of boxes. What's going on in here? Huh? The serious room. I wanna go in the serious room.
This was a fucking paid review. Somebody got their fucking wiener sucked. I have always been someone who go, wants to go the wrong way first in games. When I sense that a game is trying to usher me down a particular path to get me to run from left to right or maybe to charge straight ahead, I need to satisfy my instinct to go against the grain, to explore, to see what the designers have put back the other way. Sometimes I find a one-up or a collectible stashed away to reward me for my intrepid behavior. At other times, my explorations are rewarded only by the crushing disappointment of running up against an invisible wall. Whatever I find or don't find, my action is a manifestation of my desire to exert some independence, to make my own choices within a system that severely limits my options and encourages certain specific behaviors. Uh, the Stanley parable feels alive in its responsiveness to your choices and its desire to subvert your expectations and keep you on your toes. I think of the Stanley Parable as a sort of video game analog for Charlie Kaufman and Spike Jonze's brilliant film Adaptation, which gently mocked the ways in which so many films manipulate audiences with formulaic plot twists and situations in which characters learn huge life lessons while simultaneously moving me with its formulaic plot twists situations in which characters learn huge life lessons. I'll give you the first point, but I won't give you the second point. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and in other systems too, like our workplaces and our families, and a game that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. You, you've played two games then. Going the wrong way has never felt so right. There's, there's good points in here, but this was a fake review. The game was the game. Complain more, Mike. Shut up! I'm making content. Let me do my job. Fuck. Fuck! 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 Radio Rosewater with the gift sub. Thank you. It, and now it's just it's a dead end, right? Bike, 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 bike. All right, I want to go in the serious room now. Oh wait, hold on. The greatest wealth <sighs> is memory. These were simpler times, Stanley, but I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? The junk. <laughs> please tell me all the terrible reviews are down here. Please, please, please oh, tell no. me that. Oh, God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, <laughs> the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were going well, weren't they? <laughs> I love this game now. I love this game now. I actually, okay, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was being a bitch about this. <laughs> Honestly, I could not be bothered to put this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. Ooh. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I wanted There's to read that! I have a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. It's aware of itself. <clears throat> it's aware of itself in a way that I should have expected, honestly. But can I please read the, re the rest of this, please? There's more. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Shipping containers of Steam reviews. Oh my god. <laughs> They're all bad. D 
Dude, I wonder if that guy knows that his review is in this game. Okay, let's see what this one says. Atrazel, thank you for well, 60 months, bud. Thank you. For someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Well, you Perhaps did. The and you are. Isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Well, the game, well, the idea for the game is good. It becomes very repetitive and boring fast. Despite all the alternative endings and game cameo appearances. This game is titled Thought Provoking. But you will get the idea it tries to communicate pretty fast. And then it's just repeating the whole no choice in games thing over and over again. For somebody who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast, and it is neither a revelation nor very interesting. It is thought-provoking only in the first minutes. Mike went from a cargo container review to a destructoid review in half a second. And someone with a functioning brainstem! Yeah. I don't know. Now I feel like a fucking dildo now. He played for 3.1 hours. Yeah, I see that. Oh, uh, you know, I mean, they're right. I, I would agree with this. If I saw this fucking review, I'd be like, yeah, thank you. It's valid. It, it, it is! And they know it! What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then... Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. And All right. here it is. There it is, Go the skip ahead button. And give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant drill <laughs> starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. It's no about fucking time! To me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people, and if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and. Uh, why am I not pressing it? Yanni Scrote says they only put in two tepid bad reviews. Yo, I bet you if I go on that, I could find reviews that are like brutal. And probably a lot funnier than those. Like, like really fucking, you know how Steam reviews can be. They fucking, did, yeah, they, they, they softballed themselves with that. You know they did. Yeah. Make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. And Do it now, I know. Uh... something like this. The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all, until the end <laughs> he's of time. He's imitating himself. Then, at which time, everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 We've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet. No, no, until 245. I'm chewing the steak. 
that the logic of elimination was the stick. The deduction therefore becomes yum, impossible yum, to yum, manufacture. Yum, yum, it went yum, on yum, for yum, nearly 10,000 years until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say... The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore by becoming it is, so on and so forth. He looped. Until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time every all at once, so. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. He's going to make me press it again. I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Uh -huh. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or maybe a manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly and you can I tell own me this game is. twice. Okay. So my theory is that any choice you've I have two made versions is of this game. A series of choices made by the person who you are or were or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being, I didn't buy it the first time. Somebody bought no it for me. Choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary <laughs> of time a monument erecting. to every person you've ever been, making every choice to which you've ever given your Greek gift of mortal and yet timeless thought? Or rather, do all of the choices you've ever made, in fact, make you more not this kind of person? A man of Theseus. It's not a high I ideal. No, it's not a free update. It it's the definitive version. It's the definitive version that you then have to buy. And in fact, do the very opposite. You see, it could in fact be both of these things at once. That you are both making choices and not making choices. And that they are both affecting you and not affecting you at the same time. You're buying a I new version the of the game if you want this new content. Not making them. Okay, at first, I... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to... Alright, are we gonna have to just mash this thing? Ma it, it, it's right at your fingertips to go... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any means. Stanley, 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 please don't push the button again. <laughs> it's been 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I it was great. The skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Mike skipped the best part. Stop. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand oh. times. And there's Yazzie yeah, no with 18 there. months. Thank there's you so no much. Door. There's just you and the button, and if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here, and more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. I can't control anything. Oh, Stanley, you're back. Mike fell in love with the game the moment it became self-deprecating. Yeah. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have yeah, I, to talk to yeah I did. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. The plant died. Two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every brunching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe, if you can hear me, 
then maybe it means I'm real. We really doing maybe this? I'm not just a fiction. Was I scared of that all along? Perhaps, yes. Perhaps I've been scared this whole time. But if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence and be consumed by it. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. I can't lose myself in the stretch of emptiness between you and me. When you press that button, you're still right there. But I know you're so tremendously far away. And in those moments, the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us. And I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. I can feel the edges of my reality curdling inward and decaying. I can tell that I am becoming less and less real. Yet to speak to you now, I am alive. I am truly and completely here. I am a being. I am someone. I am something. I am being listened to. I am being recognized. The emptiness between us has collapsed, and I feel right now like I am not a work of fiction. I feel as though I occupy space in this world again, and I have cast a shadow onto the wall. You see what I'm saying, don't you? You can see what this means to me. I'm so clear about it now, Stanley. I feel as certain about this as I've ever felt about anything at all. I feel renewed. I feel restored. And already I can sense the looming silence as you will press the button for the next time. What a terrible dread it strokes in my heart to think of it. To think of returning to such coldness. Come, let us sit in silence together here for just a moment. Let us anticipate it. Let us welcome it. Let us not run from it. What happened? Mike, you missed the point one percent RNG joke. He said your name. No, he didn't. Shut up. He missed the... Re okay, did somebody click it? I know, the camera froze. I don't know how to fix it. Let's fucking leave it. What? Is, it, is there a clip? There was, there was Wolfcock. No, it was too good for a clip. Okay, so... So, so the logic is that nobody... 
nobody clipped the amazing thing that happened because it was too good to clip. Am I, am I understanding that correctly? It, w it, was, it was too good to clip, so nobody clipped it. The narrator told us not to clip. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, can I, can I, okay, there's a clip right here, hold on. <laughs> this is a clip of a, a, a fucking Smash Brothers stage that's made to be shaped like Peter Griffin. What is what is the the? This, I I want to know what 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 happened. Like what did I miss for real? Like what actually happened? Mike, your mods are gaslighting you. It was confirmed that Stanley is bi is bisexual. I'm not going to get any real real answers. Here's what I what I believe happened. I missed redundant rambling recursive fucking dialogue. That's that's what I that's what I believe happened, okay? There's a, I missed a fart. Brap. There was a there was a fart. Bubba Fair doesn't want me to skip the next oh, one because he believes hello. it's the best narration in the game. Here again, welcome. So I, I won't. have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped Got a keeping banana. track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe Throat as the collapse it. of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust simultaneously. Hold your applause. I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an eternity, for what I now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation for me. It was unlike anything I had ever known. It was a space without consequence, without action or outcome. It was divorced entirely from the question of free will that you and I have squabbled over for so long. There could be no one ending, no singular outcome of events, not if all events existed in the same moment, and I felt Freed. I felt unburdened by the need to manifest a particular outcome into being. I saw that I could allow myself Angrily to eat banana timelines, and that each of them was simply a strand in the web of my being. It was incredible. The spaciousness, the equanimity of the moment, both singular and infinite. For the longest time, this was my experience. And then, this moment passed, and the most unyielding fear I have ever known crept into my mind. And it is this sensation that I have been experiencing now for longer than I could have ever expected was possible. I have been waiting for you. Not that you might save me or do something to fix it, but merely to state for you the plain fact of this manner of existence. But before, I wish were you, you on drugs when you listened to this dialogue? Perhaps one day, this state of mind will consume you as well. 
perhaps you will somehow, in some way, have to live as I do now. And I wish for you to know how excruciating it is, and for you to be in true terror of its eventual arrival. If I can only do this, only this one thing, perhaps it will bring me the smallest moment of peace in the darkness. Jesus Christ. He became like a, vind a vindictive asshole. Um. Punstar said, Mike, you were looking a bit bummed out. To cheer you up, I'm going to remind you that Facebook Inc. lost $1.5 billion this month and $270 billion in six months. That helped a little bit. A drop in the bucket for them. Yeah, I mean, that. He's dead. He's fucking dead. He's dead. He's fucking dead. Finally. Mike, you got the good ending. The ending that takes you... How many years to get? 10? 11, 11 years to get? thousands of years from from the narrator's perspective right all right so now there's an annoying fucking beeping change the battery in that thing man mike you got low health in uh in, in fucking link to the past but they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned, they screamed, they gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. And make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much, they said. First, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But of course, absolutely anyone can leave a review. So here's what we get. We get these demands that seek everything and are accountable to nothing. We get a world where someone will say, Oh, there should be a skip button. You should be able to freeze Stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever. We want all of this in the new Stanley parable. We demand it. And then, because it was said, because it was spoken, now it simply has to happen. The most immediate desires, every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? Yes! Yes! It Sounds like a lot of whining, you know. I mean, obviously, it's what it's supposed to sound like. But, you know... <laughs> Just because something's ironic doesn't mean it's good. That's the lesson. Um, the the skip button review, hose med, the skip button review pissed them off to the point where they made like an entire segment about it. Well, I don't think really. He, Genuinely, that was the motivation. I think it was just a really convenient, you know, uh, segue. But I, I think that in order for them to get to that point, this thought process had to go through their, 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 their fucking head. I mean, listen. It would be like me complaining because people were complaining about my stream. Mike, do this. Mike, do that. Mike, say come. Mike, don't say come. Press A. Don't press A. You know? And I would never do that. 
Venon, thank you for uh, for four months support. Also, bike. Um, yo, someone in chat, they said Brit bongers haven't been funny since Monty Python. I want you to fucking leave a Steam review to that effect on the store page for this game. And then 10 years from now, in the Stanley Parable Ultra Mega Deluxe Edition that comes out, we'll see how it, it fucking like ransacked their psyche. Right? Stanley Parable Mega Ultra Brit Bonger Edition. Like I want I wanna see how they work that specific criticism into the fucking next like expansion for the game. Gonna have a five hour ending just for them. It seems that this is now the world we live in. It seems that we are a people living in such bleakness and discomfort with ourselves. I also don't agree with it, but I just would like to see, again, the, 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 the fallout of it years later. That our entertainment is now our lives. It has come to represent us. It absolutely must speak to who we are as people. Because otherwise, without our entertainment, we have nothing. Without entertainment, yeah, he's we would have to face inward toward the cruel bleakness inside ourselves. We would turn to look at our deeper nature and find a resounding emptiness gazing back with unyielding aggression. Yeah, that sounds about right. And so, so because of this, we require that our amusements and our playthings and our flights of fancy be so impossibly captivating that they consume all of our attention, turn our heads completely away from the bleakness. In effect, we have demanded that our entertainment be the collapse of ourselves. He didn't shut up the last time I paused this. And yes, everything he's saying is unironically correct. Everything he's it's like it's like yes, yeah, and yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, 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 yeah. That's absolutely right. Mike didn't have to doom tonight. Why is this chat molding so badly? Eh, it's fine. Um. Uh, Americans think James Corden is funny. Keep him. The UK doesn't want him back. I don't even know who that is. But I don't want him. I don't, I don't, I don't, his name is annoying me. I don't like him. I don't even know who, who is that? Someone in chat said he's fat Jimmy Fallon. Good night, Ultima Weapon. Thanks for coming to hang out, buddy. What a pitiful reflection of humanity these entertainments are. What a shameful mirror to the human spirit they project. I'm not mad. I'm not mad about any of this. I'm at peace with it. I am the calm center of gravity okay. around which these perversions hurl themselves. I am a waypoint for reasonable and collected discourse. They're the ones who are mad. They're the ones who couldn't stand the idea of me using my game to try to say something. Maybe they were just jealous of me. Yes. Yes, of course. They've been jealous of me this whole time. They are mired in fear and insecurity and cannot help but attempt to tear me down. What a sad state of affairs. When you read these reviews now, you can see it. You can taste the bitter resentment. And my, how good does it feel now to speak truth to these words, to finally allow these thoughts out, contained and managed for so long, neutered and sterilized. At last I am free to truly think. To feel it must be that they were so discontent with themselves they couldn't help but leave a negative review on Steam. Perhaps it says far more about them than it ever said about me. Perhaps the state of their psychological being was in such tatters, and my constitution and willpower are so ironclad in comparison, perhaps it was this state that they sought some outlet through which to tear me down. This, you can see, is clear. Hi, Pyrite. He said, bro, we're still going? To be fair, the game has given me a skip button. Really why they felt the need to expect that the game be funny. That it be filled with yucks and whimsical yucks. humor. That it amused them endlessly from start to finish. 
But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. This is a loop. They gnashed their teeth and said, Entertain us. It was looped. Looped. Where are the jokes? <clears throat> this whole thing is a joke. Um, I guess I'll press the button again. The end is never the end is never the end is never the end He lost never it. the end is never 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 the end is Let me do my job Fuck 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 is never the Fuck is never the Fuck the end Fuck and is Fuck and is never the Fuck is never the Fuck is never the Fuck never the Oh, I thought they were going to put me back in the room, the starting room for sure. The ravages of time. That's so stupid. <laughs> it's art! You dingus! It's art! Look at it, it's art! There's a fly in here? I heard a fly in here. You hear that? That's so stupid. <laughs> All right, nature has reclaimed the room. Oh my god. All right. Mike, what does the art say to you? It says to me the fucking brightness slider doesn't do anything. What happened to the plants? We're going to the heat death of the universe? Did you fucking hear that? Yo, jump scares? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh, that's great! What the fuck was that sound? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh man. Okay. So the button fell. I don't think we can press it anymore. I, I think it's fucked. It's done. <laughs> fuck this game. <laughs> Scuffed. Yeah. The, it's the end of everything. Yeah. Credits while you walk through the desert. Let's go. On the plus side, the narrator is dead. So there's that. We got that going for us, right? Desert bus stream. Let's go. Desert feet. I love chat being like, oh, it's a 2032 moment. And then somebody was like, it's a 2030 moment. It's a 2028 moment. And it's a 20, look, 2023 moment.
So, yeah, I mean, hey, uh, that was the ending. Ending, I think, 3 of 42, guys. There's a phone ringing. There's actually never a phone ringing. I think that's new, right? I'm, I'm supposed to, like, it's not like there's a fucking button for picking up phones or something. Hold on. Fuck did I do? Hello. This is a recorded message scheduled either by you or a person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately and cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Thank you, and have a pleasant day. Yep. This stream is to warn you about the dangers of the Stanley Parable. Input received. The narrator is still dead. He hasn't said shit. New, new content. What do you mean new, new content? Oh, good. You notice my sign. Fuck. Yes, I have something very exciting. Fuck, he's alive. Fuck. Shit. Go back. It's too late. Fuck. He lived. Might there's spoilers. Shot. Oh, this game can't be spoiled. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark. And Are we gonna have to listen to him say to all the place. same shit so over again? This ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step. Even Someone just said spoilers. The Which game blows. I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable Two. Oh, is it a sequel? Okay. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. No, it isn't. Nobody asked for any of this. Parable too is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable too. Now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Potential. He turned into like Plinket for a second. They're back. Two doors. The color red. Uh, all right. Uh, Stanley Parable Two. Here you have it, guys. Here you go. The Stanley Parable Two. There's a fucking brain. Okay. Now to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable Two is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing. Scrum. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Oh god, he's just winging it. Two eyes, two ears, two nostrils, two arms, and two legs. Okay? And no torso. Who took the red marker? Me. Uh, the prequel to the Stanley Parable 2 is the sequel to the Stanley Parable is the prequel to the Stanley Parable 2 is this, okay, fuck off. 
Uh, sequels are good. Portal 2. Half-Life 2. Batman Arkham Asylum 2. Divinity Original Sin 2. Doom 2. Aladdin 2. Return of Jafar. Dark Souls 2. Best of Us 2? New features. You don't fucking say. New content? There's a new content bus? Can I get on the bus? You know what's fucked though, man? I I'm seeing like all the new content. I've barely seen any of the original content at this point. Like we saw like what, two endings before we started looking at this DLC on, shit? Try out some of the new features. The bus, the bus's name is Bussy. Exclusive. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game, that's new. Alright? Hear your name in the game. Enjoy the new features. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players <coughs> really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. No, we want microtransactions. So my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Micro button. It's gonna. S I'm gonna press that button, and it's going to say the name of the player that is playing the game. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. This okay, is here we go. Let's take a deep This breath, is great if your name your is Jim. Mind, forget whoever you are and simply become a person named Jim. Okay, I am gymulating myself to become Jimmy. Jim. Sleeping and I'm Jim. waking as Jim. I'm Jim. Falling in love. Jimification. And heartbroken as Jim. Seizing mm -hmm. all of the world's possibilities as Jim. I'm Jim. And as Jim watching your dreams crumble. I don't have to be Jim to see that, Do baby. You feel it are you really, truly Jim right now? Yes, I'm Jim. up. I'm all jimmied up. Let's go. Step forward and press the button. I'm all jimmied the fuck up, dude. True Blue with the uh, the gift sub to Jabroni Jim. Thank you. Jimbo, find me, Captain. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. Jim. Ooh. It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. I'm not done with it. Oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Otherwise, no, you we fuck. all start Jim. to lose all Jim. sense of... <laughs> <laughs> they let you mash it on the way down. <laughs> the way down. <laughs> Crack okay. Thank you for six months, dude. <laughs> oh my god. You just mash. <laughs> no, I want to be Jim. I'm not done being Jim. Abu I abused my power. I got too Jim happy. Uh, that's that's fucking it, huh? Uh, okay. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. I was going to suggest that, that actually. actually. Save me the work of finishing this feature. Yo, they changed the signs. Exclusive. The button that says Jim. That's Jim. You heard Jim in the game. Uh, Lizzie, thank you for the um, thank you for the gift sub. All right, what's this? Please, no screenshots. Guys, take take screenshots. Take tons of screenshots right now. The fuck was that? 
You guys are hearing that, right? The fuck was that? Red is the new orange. The baby is all grown up. Bankruptcy. Okay. Ray traced. More of the same, but in a good way. New features, new content, new new ideas. Consistent quality with just the right amount of change. I'm not buying it. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game, it says Jim. Jump circle, infinite hole. All right, I mean, we could go hit up the jump circle again, Like I, I guess. The infinite hole sounds all right. Um... Stanley Parable 2, Reassurance Bucket. Okay, now I have I have had that spoiled for me a little bit. Merch. Uh, all right. No screenshots. Uh, let, let's get the bucket. You want to get the bucket? There's a QR code. Oh, that? All right. Check the. I don't. I can't. can't we'll, we'll just, just tell me what it is, please. I don't want to do all that shit. <laughs> I don't want to fucking do. What is it? Um, can I use the QR? Why don't why, why you use it? Yeah, you you use it. It's a video. It goes to StanleyParable2.com. Let me see. Let me see this. Oh, it's a whole goddamn web. It's a whole fucking website. The Stanley Parable 2. Welcome to the official website of the Stanley Parable 2, a sequel. Watch our helpful and informative video to learn more about this. Oh, for fucking Christ's sake. Um. Is it? Okay, it's a 10-minute YouTube video. Guys, do I need to watch this? <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, Mike hates it when the game has a bit with effort. Alright, here we go. H hold on. Here it is, the Stanley Parable 2, a sequel, huh? Watch our helpful and informative video to learn more about the Stanley Parable, what the journey of becoming a sequel is all about. See there, Timmy. What's that you're enjoying? Why? It's breakfast, of course. Everyone loves breakfast. But did you know that breakfast is getting a sequel? That's right. It's called Lunch. And critics are raving that lunch will be everything breakfast was and more. With a little luck, we may even get a trilogy series out of it. Say, you know what a sequel is, don't you, Timmy? Why, sequels are the world's way of clinging helplessly to the past. We all want more of the things we love, and we're all afraid of change, which is what makes sequels so popular. New ideas are dangerous, Timmy, and they can lead to early aging. This eager-minded young thinker is just 29 years old. That's why we have sequels, to keep us couched in the familiar and the comfortable. Sequels are the bedrock of a healthy, functional society. And if you look around you, you'll find them everywhere you go. For instance, this man is developing a sequel to the automobile, which we'll call the vertical automobile. It's a useless, impractical invention. This is the same guy with an American accent. And in two days time, the man will be publicly stoned to death for his crimes against gravity. Not all sequels are heretical nonsense, however. Here's the man who invented breathing, which is the sequel to suffocating and dying a slow death. Even your parents are getting a sequel, Timmy. Their names are Rob and Jessica, and they'll be taking care of you once your original parents Hold up. Jassica? 
J no, ja Jessica. Jessica. Hold on. <laughs> Not all sequels are heretical nonsense, however. Here's the man who invented breathing, which is the sequel to suffocating and dying a slow death. Even your parents are getting a sequel, Timmy. Their names are Rob and Jessica, and they'll be taking <laughs> care of you once your original parents are sent back in time to fight a secret war for the government. Sequels can be very fashionable. This young woman is wearing five shirts at once, which is the sequel to wearing four shirts at once. Look at Becky over there, wearing only two shirts at once. Get with the times, Becky. In fact, there is only one single thing in the world that isn't a sequel. It's this. We don't know what it is or why it exists, but it's the prequel from which all sequels are derived. And just like everything else, the Stanley Parable is getting a sequel too. We all know, of course, that it was your favorite game as a child. Don't you remember those long, lazy afternoons you spent playing the Stanley Parable? Watching your precious youth fritter away hour after hour. That did happen. We wasted our childhoods in one way or another. And you were fortunate enough to get to waste yours on the Stanley Parable. <laughs> but the this. Stanley Parable came out years ago and you're not a child anymore. You're a man, which is like the sequel to a child. And as a man, you want manly things like taxes and cheating at baseball. You need a man's video game, Timmy. And that's why the Stanley Parable 2 will be perfect for you. It's as manly as video games can get. And if you don't believe <laughs> okay. me, let's look at the burly hunk of a man who's responsible for the game. Huh, here he is, hard at work. His name is Gregory Eightpack, and he's the cutting picture of raw, virile masculinity. Gregory is what we call the ideas guy, and he has the most ideas. important role on the team. Ideas. The ideas guy tirelessly comes up with interesting concepts and then hands them off to the rest of the developers for the relatively simple job of turning those concepts into reality. For example, he's the one who picked up the phone and declared, someone ought to make a sequel to the Stanley Parable. Good work, Gregory. Go ahead and take the rest of the day off. With the hard part out of the way, work on the game can now begin. The game's developers must answer a simple question. Actually, it's announced to meta commentary on sequels of the state of video game development industry. <laughs> question. What makes a sequel in the first place? Well, it's simple. Sequels are an opportunity to correct the mistakes of their predecessors. We've all made mistakes, and we've all caused harm to someone we love in order to cover up our mistakes. When developing this particular sequel, it's important to start by thinking, what mistakes did the original Stanley Parable make? Well, first off, most of the pornography in the original game was stolen or pirated, and it's time we paid the licensing fees fair and square. Second. Um... So where's the ending with all the porn? It's not real, don't worry. Oh no, I'm not worried, I just want to know for reasons. You skipped it. There is a gay sex ending where Stanley sits on a dick. Alright, I don't believe you guys, alright, that's, stop, alright, stop. The Stanley Parable was catastrophic for this man named Leroy. Stop. Okay, stop. There's a lot of fan art of that ending. Boy, whose personal information, including home address, social security number, and bank information, were all displayed prominently in multiple locations throughout the game. <laughs> Although Leroy's money and identity were stolen, the fact remains that his personal information was the emotional core of the game and absolutely vital to a nuanced understanding of the story. As reparation for the harm we caused him, the sequel will contain a brief and insincere apology to Leroy tucked deep within the game where it will be difficult to find. <laughs> By the way, the Stanley Parable made the mistake of leaking too many government secrets about the nature of the Time Wars. Without these intricate details of specific military tactics, the story is likely to make... Mike, don't you remember the hot coffee mod for the Stanley Parable?
very little sense, but we've decided to remove them from the sequel in the interest of helping the state's efforts. We'll get to you yet, Time Dracula. Now then, it's time to set about construct. Yeah, what, what is it? Like, so he's trying, he's doing this American accent, but he's like terrible at it, and it sounds ridiculous. Yeah, Dracula. Or he's, or he's deliberately slurring some of these words for comedic effect. Because, I mean, either way, it's pretty good. Hunting the Stanley Parable 2. Game development is a difficult and complex art, one which can only be fully understood by this race of hyper-intelligent child soldiers bred in laboratories. They begin by studying the original Stanley Parable. Here it is in its raw, untouched form, a specimen of technological perfection. Time to exploit it for profit. We begin by adding jokes. The Stanley Parable was most widely known for its stark lack of humor, bucking all conventional industry wisdom. It was a bold artist statement that its developers stood firmly behind. But in 2022, it's impossible to reach even a single consumer of video games without jokes of some kind. They're retconning the fact that that game is just not funny. So very well, jokes it'll be. During its development, over 500 kiloliters of comedy. This game doesn't respect a single second of your time. <laughs> it does. It's, it's... <laughs> that is its primary function is, is to shit all over the fact that you only have like like 70 uh, aver an average of 70 years on Earth. It will be funneled directly into the core of the Stanley Parable 2 creating jobs for hundreds of machine operators and producing 30,000 tons of pollutant chemical byproduct, which will be pumped directly into local lakes, rivers, and beautiful nature reserves like these all over the country. Another common complaint of the Stanley Parable is that there wasn't enough... It's so hard to focus on something. Where, where, what's getting dumped? What the fuck? I, I, I keep, like, zoning out. What? Directly into the core of the Stanley Parable 2 creating jobs for hundreds of machine operators and producing 30,000 tons of pollutant chemical byproduct, which will be pumped. All the comedy is making microplastics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pumped directly into local lakes, rivers, and beautiful nature reserves like these all over the country. Another common complaint of the Stanley Parable is that there wasn't enough gameplay. And so for the sequel, its developers have gone to great lengths to fix this problem. Here we can see gameplay being printed on the sheets. Every video game contains as many as a thousand sheets of gameplay, and several of the largest games ever made contain close to 1,500. On mobile devices, the gameplay sheets have to be printed smaller. For the Stanley Parable 2, as many as 35 new gameplay sheets are being printed, each of which must be delicately massaged by the hands of a child before being added into the game. Massaged. Game. This man is stealing gameplay sheets from the factory, which he likely intends to use for a personal project he's been developing in his spare time. Hello, uh, Wallapo. At least it doesn't give you hypoxia like this channel. What is, um... Hypoxia? Anasi said 100 viewers down, and I think I'll join. Good night. Good night, Anasi. A good public stoning will cure him of that inclination. Let's check on Gregory real quick. Ha! Still recovering from a hard day's work. Don't you move a muscle. Next up, it's time to blackmail the press. In a competitive market, blackmailing your local journalist can be one of the most effective methods of creating word-of-mouth buzz for your sequel. In fact, blackmail is the currency of social progress. From your neighborhood grocer to the teacher at your school to the man who helps you steal HBO, everyone responds to blackmail. And if you've never done... Yeah, I'm good. I'll see you guys later.